And again, off stride of the rail, Timel Taro. Timel Taro has made him askew again from the rail. Here they come. Off and trotting in a good beginning, Salisbury Hill left out sharply. Next door to that one, massive flirt. Up into three wide paths, Sebastian Ray. And from the extreme outside, Heaven's Door Hanover tees off here for Henry. Heaven's Door Hanover sweeping up to grab the racetrack. Salisbury Hill is second. Jameson lost, massive flirt. That one simply got out of gear and made a break in stride. So third belongs to Sebastian Ray. From the second tier, away cleanly came Combs Hanover into fourth. Dropped in fifth went Fleetwood, sixth inside to Nylander. Then it's back to Royalties, Odyssey into seventh. Eighth and off the speed is Golden Dynamite. Massive Flirt has reset Timel Taro far behind. 28 flat through the opening quarter, and they're into the back stretch chasing Heaven's Door Hanover, who leads it by two lengths. Second to the rail is Salisbury Hill. Another breaker. Off stride in the backfield went Fleetwood, and Brown has lost Golden Dynamite. Two more breakers there in the backfield now. Field approaching the midway point, Heaven's Door Hanover. Hanover and Henry click off a first half in 56 and 4 solid speed as they go into the final turn on that lead Heaven's Door Hanover Salisbury Hill tracks in the pocket spot intently for zero now third inside Sebastian Ray two more to Combs Hanover from and fourth fifth in at the rail is Nylander and sixth with the pack is Royalties Odyssey and here's Salisbury Hill now to issue a first over challenge on Heaven's Door Hanover who made a break in stride got poor gated coming out of the turn and is now in the safe Safety lane on the run. Three quarters of 125 and three. Salisbury Hill to the front. And it looks like she's trying to switch to the pace, and she did. She did it pretty slick, too. Salisbury Hill has given way now to Sebastian Ray. Sweeping up on the far outside comes Nylander, splitting through his Combs Hanover. But it's going to be Nylander to pick them off late. Nylander with a strong stretch kick for McDonald. The win going away. It's Nylander by three lengths. Combs Hanover was second. Sebastian Ray was third. Royalties Odyssey fourth in 154. Fourth race in the books, and Nylander takes it here, joined by winning driver James McDonald, who guides this three-year-old trotter to the victory in his season debut. And James, uh, here's one that uh, caught a few people's attentions last year. Um, I'm sure the connections have some high hopes for him coming into this season. Uh, you get a victory in his first start of the season. Um, overall, what did you think of the performance? Oh, I thought he was terrific. You know, I was, I was hoping I could work out some kind of a trip where he could come off cover. He's got a an unbelievable turn of foot so and he wants to do it like when you move him it's just push buttons so uh last year he, he, you know he had a everyone had high hopes for him and he just he get a little bumpy the odd time but he uh he still he he showed himself well he showed that he had ability and you know he's just got that much better bigger stronger this year and you know i'm, I'm we hope for big things for him you stayed right on that helmet till the head of the lane and when you tipped him out he felt real strong Oh yeah, like it, like it, like I said, it was kind of a learning experience. I knew if I had him anywhere close, turn him for home, he'd give me a real good shot at winning. And and he, you know, I moved him over, and he did exactly what I expected him to do. So can't ask more from that. What do you notice from him between two and three? Just the typical uh, horse maturing, or anything else that stood out? Yeah, I mean the Stacys have done a great job with him. He's he's really learned. Last year he could be a bit of a handful in the race, and. You know, I was always trying to trip him out, but he, he gets so wound up, you know, you, you put him in some bad spots. But uh, this year he was just a gentleman to drive. And, uh, you know, like I said, he, he hopefully bigger and better for him. Now turning the focus to yourself, two wins here tonight. How are you feeling uh, now that we're into our fourth night of racing? It feels like the first couple nights it was kind of a new experience or getting back into the rim for everyone. But it seems like we're just kind of back to the old habits here right now and everyone's rolling along. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, this is what we do. So, you know, the trainers have the horses good. And then, you know, us drivers, we tried to stay sharp. And, and luckily, you know, the races have gone pretty normal as, as far as I can see. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm always happy to win two. Hopefully I can keep the ball rolling and win some more tonight. Driving a lot of young horses, whether it's for Blake McIntosh, Sean Stacy here tonight with the baby races coming up. This has to be a fun time of the year for a driver. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, baby races are really exciting, you know. The trainers work so hard all year to get them down and, you know, just to, you know, show them, teach them the ropes. It's it's pretty fun. And then when you get that special one, you know, it's really fun. So 
in the next couple of weeks, you know, there'll be some real eye-catching performances, I'm sure, and everyone will be talking about babies. Well, it's going to be a busy few weeks for yourself. Uh, best of luck, and uh, keep it rolling here tonight. All right, thank you very much.